Hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, how are you, Rolando? I'm ready for the class. Ready? Cool. That's nice. Welcome, Nancy. How are you? Are you ready to start? How are things going? ¿Verdad que dijo que están listos? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, well. Okay. I'm reading. What's your favorite food? If we start talking about food, in this case that we are going to speak about food. What's your favorite food or what's your favorite kind of food? Pastas, Mexican food. Fast food, tell me. What kind of food do you like, Rolanda? Uh, my favorite food is pizza. Um, La carne Meat. Meat. Ajá. Es que meat. Cuando dije meat, se me vino la plataforma meat. O sea, en mi mente va. Pero dije, ¿será eso o no será eso? Meat. Ok. So, there you have some uh, vocabulary. The food pyramid. And, well, this is, uh, as we know, the food pyramid, we have different sections, right? We have grains. If you see at the bottom, we have grains. Bread, for example, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. And we also have fruit and vegetables. We can mention bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables. We can mention carrots, broccoli, tomatoes, lettuce, potatoes. And meat, if you have, or you can see there, meat and other protein. We have fish beans, chicken, nuts, eggs, beef. Diary food, we call diary food to those ones, milk, yogurt, cheese. And we have fat, if you see here, fat, oil, 
and sugar. We have cream, candy, potato chips, oil, and butter. Let's talk a little bit about fruits and vegetables. Which is your favorite fruit? Let's begin with fruit. Which is your favorite? My favorite fruit is strawberry. Strawberry. Good. I like those ones. Strawberries. What else? My favorite, probably, pineapples. I love pineapples. Uh huh. More favorite fruit? Why? Como el, le quiero preguntar por qué le gusta la piña. ¿Cómo uh, es la pregunta? Why do you like pineapples? Why do you remember? Why do you like? Why do you like the Pineapple. Como Pine la piña pineapple. Pineapples. Pine pineapples. Uh -huh. The flavor, it's delicious. Why do you like the pineapple? The, the flavor. The flavor is, is amazing. It's delicious. It is sometimes sweet, sour. I, I don't know. Ya se me está haciendo agua la boca. Um, it's delicious, very delicious. <laughs> yes. Okay. More favorite fruit. More My favorite? favorite fruit is grapes. Oh, grapes. Yeah, they are good. Grapes. Mm -hmm. More favorite. My favorite fruit is apples. Apples. I like apples too. More favorites? My favorite uh, fruits are strawberry and bananas. Bananas. Yeah, bananas are good. Soft, bland, rich. Yes, I like them. Milkshakes. Aha, uh -huh, more favorite. Oh, let's go the opposite. Your least favorite. In my case, personally, I don't like kiwis. I don't like kiwis. And you? Your least favorite. La menos favorita. Mm -hmm. I I I don't know. You don't know. I like fruits. <laughs> o sea, todas las frutas me gustan. Okay. Mm. In my case, teacher, I don't like kiwi. Kiwi es igual, verdad, en inglés o kiwi? Kiwi, yes. I don't like kiwis. Okay. I don't like kiwi because I I feel the ligoso, no sé cómo se dice en, en, en inglés. Se siente como ligoso. Uh -huh. I don't remember this word. Smaggy. I don't remember. I'm I'm going to I'm going to uh, search for it. I don't remember. Uh-huh. Yep, I don't like kiwis. Mm -hmm. What else? Least favorite? Mm, podría ser, I don't like papaya. Sí, ¿cómo se papaya. Papayas. Yes. No, <laughs> why not? Okay, 
Anyways, papaya. It's delicious. More least favorite. My favorite fruit is coconut. Okay, your favorite, but your least favorite, el menos favorito. I don't like is kiwi. Kiwi. Va ganando el kiwi en los menos favoritos. Okay. Now, vegetables. Mm -hmm. Slimy, slimy, slimy. That's the word for ligoso, slimy. Rolando? ¿Cómo se dice mango peludo? Es que se no me gusta. I don't like mango peludo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, like melon. Melon. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, what else? Someone else? No more least favorite? I no more the, the banana. You don't like bananas? No more. Not much. Ajá, poquito me gusta. Okay, not much. No mucho, not much. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm going to repeat um, the words so you can listen and you can pronounce, you can repeat right there in your place. I'm going to start with the the top, the top of the pyramid. We have cream, cream, candy, butter, oil, potato chips, fish, beans, chicken, nuts, eggs, beef, milk, yogurt, cheese, lettuce, carrots, broccoli, tomatoes, potatoes, apples, mangoes, mangos peludos, strawberries, Oranges, bananas, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, and pasta. No problem with pronunciation. Um, teacher, teacher, what does it mean, noodles? Noodles. ¿Qué significa noodles? Uh -huh. Los macarrones. Thank you. Noodles. Noodles. Pensábamos que era heno. <laughs> Noodles. <laughs> eh, no. Mm -mm. Fideos, macarrones. Okay. No problem with pronunciation. Uh, let's see. I need some volunteers to read. We are going to practice reading. There is one, two, three. Four, four sections. So I need four volunteers. One, two, three, four. Para leer las secciones. The first one, any volunteer? Teacher, ¿cómo se dice carne? Meat. ¿Cómo? Meat. Pero es que ahí dice, yo veo que una vez, beep. Como beef. Ok. Con beef. Ok, ok. Um, no, el caso es que meat es la palabra en general para carnes. Por eso es, eh, la pirámide está dividida en secciones. The first section se observa en la esquina superior derecha. ¿Ya? 
you you have fat you have fat oil and sugar fat oil and sugar abajo tenemos diary en la parte derecha diary a la izquierda tenemos meat donde usted dice que está el beef ok tenemos meat and other protein entonces meat es lo general luego lo que usted dice de beef es un tipo de carne yes ok teacher gracias sería como viste verdad teacher o no o carne de res el beef Uh -huh. Por eso, por eso, por eso decimos bistec, bistec, pero tendría que ser beef, beef steak, beef steak, y de ahí se, se creó, ¿no? Que proviene el bistec, del beef steak, beef steak. Uh -huh. Ok, so, eh, Rolando. Entonces, para ser, para decir como carne de, de cerdo sería beef and pig, o como? Pork, pork, de porky, pork, ah, okay. el cerdito porky, okay. pork. Mm -hmm. Ok, volunteers, ¿quién quiere leer? Who wants to read the first section? Fat, oil and sugar. Hey, Carlos. Cream, butter, candy, potato chips, oil. Oil. And butter. Butter, butter. Butter. Yes. Next section, Mr. Pecas Alvarez. Thank you. Fish. Beans, chicken, noobs, dits, eggs, meal, yogurt, cheese. Perfect. Thank you very much. Only two. Nuts. 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 Okay. And yogurt. Yogurt. Very good. Next volunteer. Yeah, uh, yeah, teacher. Okay. Banana, apple, strawberry, mango, orange, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Only one. Lettuce. Lettuce. Letters. Let, letters. Yes. Letters. And okay. one more volunteer. The last one. Grains. Hello, everybody. Uh, teacher, I can do it. Go ahead. Hello. Grains. Bread. Cereal. Crackers. Rice. Noodles and um, pasta. Thank you very much. Noodles. 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 Okay. Sorry, I am joining. I am working right now, but I am listening to class. Okay, nice. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now, um, and then you have, if we can make a list, it says, what foods do you like? What foods don't you like? Make a list, then tell a partner. In this case, there you have, right, this one, this list, what we were practicing. Uh, for example, we are going to do this. You are going to mention one and one. For example, pay attention, listen to me. I like... And we can invent, okay? We can invent. 
pueden inventar las oraciones, solo como práctica. Podría ser, I like, I like mangoes. I don't like potatoes. I like oranges. I don't like bananas. Or, I like fish. I don't like beef. I like yogurt. I don't like milk. Mm, I like candies. I don't like potato chips. Okay? Next, who wants to volunteer? One and one. I like, I don't like. I like beef. I don't uh, I do not like uh, carols. Perfect. I like uh, potatoes. I do not like uh, noodles. Okay. okay, nice, perfect. Thank you very much. Jose Alexander. I like potatoes. I like fish. I like bread. I like cheese. I don't like cereal. 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 Uh, I don't like crack crackers. Crackers. Yes, and I don't like letters. Letters. Ok. Thank you very much. ¿Cómo se dice pasta en general? Las pastas. Como, por ejemplo, digamos, a mí no me gustan ni los coditos, ni, las, ni los macarrones, nada que tenga que ver con pasta. Pasta. That's the word. Pasta. Sí, pasta. Yes, pasta. Y por eso ahí está pasta. Uh -huh. Pero es que como está en la pasta y están los, los noodles. Que los dice noodles. Que son... uh -huh. Uh -huh. There is a difference, but pasta. The word is pasta. Okay. You don't like pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. I like uh, cheese. I like egg. I like banana. An apple, a uh, strawberry, <laughs> eh, todas las frutas. <laughs> I, like, I like broccoli, carrot, eh, tomato. Um, um, don't like pasta. Um, meat. I don't like meat. Okay. Um, embutidos, no sé cómo se dice embutidos. Eh, diary. I don't like diary. In general. Ajá. Uh -huh. Only. Okay, thank Solo you. Okay. Uh, you can use sausages. So sausages. Sausages. Embutidos. Sausages. I'm going to write later, okay? Okay, let's continue. There you have a conversation. How about some sandwiches? How about some sandwiches? This is like, easy. Si preparamos sandwiches? How about some sandwiches? Adam and Amanda, two volunteers for the conversation. Who wants to read? Okay, Maria, Ana, and Rolando. Very good. Just give me a second. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? 
Okay, we have some chicken in the refri refrigeration, but uh, but we don't but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drink, any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato sa 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 salad. Salad. Potato salad. salad. Sure. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Sure. Oh. Sure. Sure. Ah, sure. Everyone likes potato, potato, uh, potato, potato, potato salad. Yes, very good. Everyone, everyone likes potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, give me a second. What's this? Okay. Uh, Vil, no, who? Yeah, Vilma and Carlos. Okay? Yeah. Say. Do, what do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do he have any drinks? No. We need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes pot potato salad. Potato salad, thank you very much. Now listen to me, I'm going to read and later probably one or two more volunteers. Now listen, what do you want for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No. We need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Mm -hmm. More volunteers? Lindsay and Jose. Yeah, teacher. Jose, you start. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't know have any cheese. Uh, do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let it put some potato salad. Sure, everyone like potato salad. Thank you very much. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Je. Refrigerator. 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 Okay. Refrigerator. Good. Refrigerator. Um, next. More volunteers. I guess Maria Stephanie, I guess. Hi. Okay, and I need another boy. Jesus? I am. 
Yes. Okay, cool. You start, just. Your microphone. Sorry. <laughs> what do you want for the pink? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, Every, everyone light potato salad perfect <laughs> thank you very much okay now let's practice a little bit some phrases uh because let's suppose this one what do you want for what do you want for if you memorize this expression you can make more sentences more ideas for example, what do you want for breakfast? Desayuno, right? What do you want for breakfast? Uh, hotcakes. Or what do you want for lunch? What do you want for lunch? I don't know, a pizza. Mm -hmm. What do you want for dinner? Mm, I don't know, pupusas. Okay, so what do you want for? What do you want for Christmas? Kenya, what do you want for Christmas? I want the chicken. For Christmas? ¿Qué quiero de regalo de Navidad? What do you want for Christmas? Um, I, I want... I don't know. <laughs> Ten new cards. A new card. Yeah. I want new earrings. 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 Yeah, I new earrings. The gold. Golden earrings. Ah, okay. Yeah. De bisutería le va a mandar. It's, it's for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Mm hmm. And Gabriela, what do you want for Christmas? Mm, I want mm, the new computer. A new computer, me están saliendo caro. No, okay. Yes. <laughs> Ustedes pídanse la santa. Okay. Uh, and Jesus, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, I am... The I new, want. I want the new car. A new car. <laughs> no, that's too much. Okay, another expression. How about since we have some cheese? Refrigerator, and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's. Another expression. Let's get. Let's get some lemonade. Let's get some lemonade. And if you see that is let's get. Abajo aparece let's buy. Let's get. Let's buy. But for example, with. Oops. Vamos a comprar algo así. Yes. In the first one, let's get some lemonade. In this case. Me acordé de la exploradora. Ah, ah, cool. Ya me Let's go, but, uh... Okay, okay, yes. Let's buy. Ajá, compremos. El let's get, let's get podría ser como consigamos. 
Let's get some lemonade. Consigamos algo de limonada. Let's get some lemonade. Uh -huh. um, y este se puede utilizar en diferentes momentos, como digamos están en, en su trabajo, ¿no? en la oficina, y de repente le dice, hey, vamos por, por unos panes. Ok, let's get some... No, pero es que según entiendo por allá no, no le llaman así. ¿Cómo le llaman a los hot dogs? Porque incluso acá hay una diferencia de Santa Ana, San Salvador. No los... ¿Cómo le llaman? Es que acá le, le, se les llama... Chori. Choris. Ajá. Choripani, mataniños. Ah, ok. Ahí, ahí donde dijo mataniños, ahí sí. Porque acá se les llama panes chucos. Panes bueno, elige. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so you can say, hey, let's get some chores. Let's get, vayamos por unos chores. Let's get some chores. Let's get some pupusas. Let's get some chéveres. Let's get some hamburgers. Let's get some crackers. Let's get some sodas. So let's get, that's the phrase. Como vamos por consigamos. Now, if you say, let's buy, let's buy, porque ya tiene el verbo comprar, entonces sí, compremos. Let's buy some hot dogs. Let's buy some chorizo. Let's buy some sodas. Let's buy a pizza. Let's buy some hamburgers. Okay? Let's. Cuando utilizan esta frase o palabra de let's, es porque está diciendo a alguien y se incluye usted. Si quiere decir, hey, estudiemos. Estudiemos. So, let's study. O lo usual, no, hey, vámonos. Let's go. Eso como que es bien común. ¿no? Hey, let's go. Vámonos. Let's go. Let's study. Let's play. Let's watch television. Let's practice English. Ok. Let's play soccer on Sunday. Let's play basketball. Okay? That's the word or the expression let's. Questions about the conversation? Pronunciation, new words, new vocabulary? No escuché que significaba let's buy. Compremos. Gracias, teacher. Teacher, ¿Sí? uh, cuando dice, how about some sandwich? ¿Cómo sería la pronunciación? La segunda. Porque en esa video se trabaron varios. How about this one? How about? Sí, esa. How about some sandwiches? How? How, how about? How about? How, how about? How about? Um, si hacemos la separación de las palabras, ¿no? la primera sería how. La palabra el how are you. Incluso el how are you la unimos y casi se escucha como how are. Por eso la adivinanza, ¿qué le dijo un how are al otro how are? How are you? Yes. It's like how are. In this case, how are. How about? How about? How about? How about some sandwiches? How about some sandwiches? Okay. How about? What else? Thank you. Next, something else? Algo más? Something else? No. En el caso de esta pregunta, este de how about some sandwiches, ¿cuál sería la traducción más o menos? ¿Qué tal unos sándwiches? Uh -huh. Y eso, como practicábamos anteriormente con la pregunta, ¿no? Eh, si, si alguien le pregunta, eh, What do you want for breakfast? ¿Qué, ¿Qué quieres para desayunar? Y le dicen, bueno, ¿qué te parecen unas pupusas de queso? How about some cheese pupusas? 
¿Qué tal, no? ¿Qué tal unos plátanos fritos? How about some fried bananas? How about? Yeah. Ajá. Next. Sí, thank you. No more. Okay, in this section, what we are going to practice is this. Some and any. Okay, some and any. That's what we are going to practice. Um, if you see here in the grammar section, we have the word some, any. Again, we have any and we have some. That's what we are going to practice. And we are going to practice this. Count nouns, count nouns. Nombres contables, count nouns. Or non-count. Non count nouns, non count nouns, okay. But I'm going to use, let's see which one. There you have. Se conocen también como countable nouns, uncountable nouns, nombres contables y nombres no contables. Countable and uncountable nouns. A noun can be a person, a place, a thing, an animal. Mm -hmm. Un nombre puede ser a person, a place, a thing, an animal. Some nouns are countable and some nouns are uncountable. Countable nouns are the nouns we can count. If there is only one singular, we use a or an in front of it. For example, it says countable nouns, nombres que se pueden contar. A banana or two bananas, yes. A, an apple or two apples, yes. Two mangoes or three mangoes or four mangoes. We can count one, two, three, four, yes. A lemon, an apple. Mm -hmm. If there is more than one or plural, we usually add S to the noun. For example, apples. One apple, two apples. One lemon, two lemons. If we want to ask about the quantity of a countable noun, we use the phrase, how many, okay? How many, how many apples do you want? Yes? Cuando vamos al mercado y preguntan, y dicen, tiene manzanas? 
¿Cuántas manzanas quiere? How many apples do you want? How many apples do you want? One apple, two apples, three apples. One cookie, two cookies, three cookies. One egg, two eggs, three eggs. One tomato, two tomatoes, three tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Countable, countable. Se pueden contar, right? Countable noun. And we have singular, plural, right? Uncountable nouns, the opposite. Uncountable nouns are nouns we cannot, impossible. We cannot count. Yes, there are always, in, they are always in the singular form. So we never use a or an with them. However, we can use quantity words with them. A bag of, a cup of, but I'm going to explain this later, okay? For example, in this case, we use the phrase how much. En la anterior, para decir cuántas, cuántas manzanas, how many apples, how many apples. Usamos el how many porque las apples se pueden contar, ¿ok? In this case, we use how much, how much, con nombres que no se pueden contar. Por ejemplo, azúcar, sugar. No podemos preguntar cuántas azúcares querés. Preguntamos cuánta azúcar. El sugar, la palabra sugar, que es azúcar, no se puede contar. Y es cuando a uno le preguntan, ¿me da, o le, uno dice, me da un café, ¿con cuánto de azúcar? Sí. In this case, we use poquito mucho, no mucho, pero no decimos una azúcar, dos azúcares, tres azúcares. Lo que podemos contar son las cucharadas o las bolsitas, pero no la azúcar en sí, o las libras, right? So, ok. Things you can't count. Butter, coffee, Meat, sugar, no las podemos contar. Ok. Mm -hmm. Singular. En plural. No podemos dividir esto en singular y plural. Ok. Measuring units and quantifiers. Okay, don't pay attention to this. Okay. I'm going to use, let's see, this one. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay. 
I'm going to use this one. Um, let's see. Countable. Countable nouns. Countable nouns, okay? Um, and this one. Uncountable nouns, okay? Like this, I'm going to use this one. Okay, first, countable nouns, we use how much? No, 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 how many? Okay, how many? Con las palabras contables, okay? Estamos acá. Countable nouns. Con las countable nouns, usamos la frase how many? How many oranges? How many oranges? Oops, do, do you want? Okay, but con las uncountables, we use how much, okay? How much water? How much water? Uy, me la tildo. Do you want? How much water? ¿Por qué? Porque el agua no la podemos contar. Podemos contar la botella, las tazas, los litros, pero en sí el agua no decimos un agua, dos aguas, tres aguas. So we use how much. How much water do you want? Ok. Para yes. Para decir en botella, ¿cómo sería? Agua en botella. How many? En este caso, how many bottles? ¿Cuántas botellas? How many bottles of water do you want? En este caso estamos contando las botellas. How many bottles? Okay. How many bottles of water? Mm -hmm. Now, si lo ponemos respuesta acá, sería how many oranges? I want two. I want two. Oranges. I want two oranges. Okay. Now in this one, how much water do you want? I want a lot. Oops. A lot of water. Siempre me tilda la palabra water. I want a lot of water. En este caso, a lot es mucha. Quiero mucha, mucha agua. I want a lot of water. Ok. I want a lot of water. I'm sorry before I forget the attendance. I'm going to call your names, ok. ¿Qué otras eh, como frases o no sé cómo llamarle podemos utilizar con contable now en contable y justo eso vamos a ver en esta sección o en esta unidad ok eh, ahorita las principales que muestra son esas del som any ok obviamente vamos a ver más Pero antes de irnos la asistencia, ¿ok? Alison Rachel Celis Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Andrés Pacheco Calderón. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Cristian Alexander Pérez Portillo. He's not here, right? 
Gabriela Alejandra González Cuellar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jesús Antonio Artiaga Benítez. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. José Alexander Pacas Álvarez. Present, teacher. Perfect. Carla Elizabeth Hernández Peña. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kenia Briseida Torres Martinez. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Janina Guillón Lopez. No. Lindsay Indira Lobo Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. María Ana de Jesús González. Present. Thank you. María Stephanie Orellana Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Adit Cruz Mejía. Present. Nice. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Very good. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landa Verde. No. Verónica Magali Martinez Martinez. Victor Manuel Guardado Torres. Present coach. Perfect. Thank you. And Vilma Rubenia Campos Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. That's it. Oh, okay. Yes, there are more words to express quantities, okay? But later, probably tomorrow, Wednesday, we're going to practice more words like a lot, right? A lot. This is mucha. Quiero mucha agua. I want a lot of water, okay? But now, what we have to pay attention is to the words. How many? and how much, okay? And don't forget, how many for countable nouns, countable nouns. How much uncountable nouns, okay? Why? How many, in this case, two, podemos contar. Two oranges, okay? But water, we cannot count. Now we use different expressions, different words. Hay distintas, no? Mucha, bastante, poquito, no mucho, no tan poquito. Different expressions, okay? That we are going to practice. Um... And let me see, more examples probably. How many pizzas do you want? Okay. How many pizzas do you want? How many, Rolando? How many pizzas do you want? I want, pero, las porciones o? No, pizzas. <laughs> How many pizzas? Para la fiesta. Mm, I want two pizzas. Two pizzas, que poquitas. I want two pizzas, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about this one? This one, how much? How much cake? How much cake do you want? Okay. En este sí, solo hay un pastel. ¿Cuánto querés? 
How much cake do you want? ¿Cuánto te pongo de pastel? Mm, I want un poquito, estoy a dieta. Okay. In this case, we use a little. No más un poco. I want a little. Okay. A lot, a little. Ahí están los opuestos. Mucho, poquito. A lot, a little. Okay. What else? Let me check this. Mm, how much sleep do you want? How much sleep? Como para decir cuántos, qué tanto sueño tiene. O así. Mm, in this oh, case, no. it's different. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, it's totally different. Um, yeah. Y no me voy a meter todavía ahí. It's very different. It's another sentence, another question. Okay. Now. It's nine o'clock. So. Any comment or question with this? This is an introduction. Obviously, we are going to practice more. But do you have any question? ¿Alguna duda o comentario? Como les digo, esto nada más la introducción. Entonces, esto solo aplicaría para objetos. Mm, no, whatever, con lo que sea. Ok, okay no, hizo mal, ¿verdad? No con lo que sea. O, o sí, pero eh, eh, al menos en la pregunta que, que cuánto sueño, ahí la, la estructura es distinta. ¿Qué tan soñoliento estás? Porque el sueño no se puede tener. Sí, bueno, en, en español decimos tengo sueño, pero en realidad no lo tenemos. Es como, no sé si en el nivel... Ajá. Con la edad, por ejemplo, nosotros no decimos cuántos años tienes con el verbo tener. No decimos... En español decimos tengo 20 años. Tengo el verbo tener. Pero en inglés no usamos el verbo tener, sino el verbo ser. I am... 20 years old, ¿sí? Y ahí, por ahí va la misma palabra de cuánto sueño tienes. Eh, ahí sí varía. Pero esto sí lo utilizamos prácticamente en, en todo, ¿no? ¿Cuántos hermanos tenés? How many? How many brothers do you have? ¿Cuántos gatitos tenés? How many cats? Uh -huh. Eh, ok, los incontables. Mm. Y si, por ejemplo, quisiera decir libres de azúcar, por ejemplo, how many en en, las en libres de azúcar y li libras. Ajá, libre de decir para ahí sería con how many, ¿verdad? Yes, porque estás contando las libras. How many pounds? Porque la palabra pounds es libras. Y esas, las libras sí las podemos contar. How many pounds of sugar do you want? In this oh, case? Sure. Yes. Pero porque ahí estamos contando las libras. Es como el café. Si, si me preguntas, hey... ¿Cuántas tazas de café? How many cups 
of coffee. Pero si al referirnos a qué tan lleno quiere la taza una persona, tendríamos que utilizar el how much, how much coffee do you want. How much coffee do you want? Llene la taza, tópela, rebálsela. Uh -huh. How much coffee? Well. <laughs> yes. Y luego me la refila. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. So, we're going to continue with these tomorrow. Ok. Comments, questions. How many do, do you do you have? Um, <laughs> only one, but my neighbors, mi vecina. I have only one. How much do you hungry? The the sun, the como se dice ruido, se me olvidó. Noise. How many hungry the noise? <laughs> A lot. A lot. So that's why. Yes. Sorry for that. But we finish. I will continue tomorrow. Good night, everyone. And thank you very much for your participation. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Enjoy your dinner. Thank Good you. Night. Good night, teacher. Good night.